Hello everybody, and what exactly is the dynamic range of a camera? Now dynamic range, I'm going to start by putting it in layman's terms so it's easier to understand. It's simply how effective your camera sensor is at keeping the very bright parts of an image from blowing out and the very dark parts from being crushed to pure black. And to put it in more geeky terms, it's how well the imaging sensor does at retaining highlight and shadows without losing detail. So imagine dynamic range as a bracket. Whatever falls beyond the lower boundary gets saved as pure black and whatever falls beyond the upper boundary gets saved as pure white. It's also measured in stops, so it's how many stops the entire range consists of and how many stops there are between what gets defined as pure black and what gets defined as pure white. So here's a visual example. A sensor with poor dynamic range cannot retain much detail in the shadows and highlights, so you end up with this really punchy and contrasty image with a lot of clipped whites and a lot of crushed blacks. If it has a very wide dynamic range, you get to retain much more detail in the shadows and highlights. Now the visuals I've just shown you are simulated for ease of explanation, but let's also look at some real world examples. So here's footage from a smartphone that generally doesn't have a very good dynamic range. And as you can see, the highlight and shadow details are not being retained very well. And here is footage from a Canon 5D Mark III DSLR. It has a much better dynamic range than the smartphone, so you can see there's more details in the shadows and highlights. And here is footage shot on a Canon C100 Mark II, which has 12 stops of dynamic range, so we can see the shadows and highlights have a lot more preserved detail. Now this is specifically the case for DSLRs. The dynamic range is somewhat reduced in video mode because you can't shoot video in raw format on DSLRs. So everything's baked in. What's crushed is crushed and what's clipped is clipped. And when you're shooting stills in raw, you get access to the full latitude of data that was captured by the sensor. So you'll be able to pull more details of the shadows and highlights. So that's pretty much it on dynamic range. Any questions, any comments, just leave them in the comment section below. Let me know as well if there's something else you would like to hear me explain. So that's pretty much it for today, everybody. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.